How do you simplify rational expressions? This is part one of our series. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, this is Laika and welcome to Team Laika where we try to help you prepare better for your next exam. And if your exam covers algebra, well, this is the right place for that kasi ito yung isa sa mga essential topics pagdating sa subject na yan. And whether you're taking a job intake exam, licensure exam for teachers, civil service exam, college entrance test, at kung ano man yan, ito yung type of uh, topic na they would expect na natatandaan nyo pa. Kaya pag-usapan natin ito ngayon. Okay? Now, nakalagay naman sa title, this is part 1 kasi over time, we're going to increase yung level of difficulty dito. Ito yung part 1 kasi ito yung pinaka-basic. At ito rin yung pinaka-susi doon sa mas challenging na lessons na paparating. So, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit that bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss yung mga susunod pa na lessons natin. Okay? Now, we're going to start with monomials. Now, ano pa muna yung monomial? Mono means one. Isa lang na magkakadikit yung nasa taas at isa lang yung nasa ilalim. For example, we have 4x cubed and 2x squared. Dito meron ka makikita na number, yung numerical coefficient niya, kumbaga, meron din sa ilalim. Meron din siyang factor na in letter form, so x cubed and x squared. Pero kung makikita mo, walang ibang operation dyan kung hindi multiplication. You have 4 times x cubed and 2 times x squared. Walang nakalagay na plus o minus or anything like that. At dahil isa lang, monomial sila pareho, ang gagawin lang natin is to factor these out completely. Now, kung nagtataka kayo kung bakit natin ito ginagawa, meron din tayong video on solving or dividing fractions by cancellation at it's the same concept. Kung ano yung meron sa taas at meron din sa ibaba, ay pwede natin i-cancel. So, ibig sabihin nun, para malaman ko yung sagot, pwede kong i-split yung 4 into 2 and 2. Kasi, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Now, yung x cubed naman, Pwede ko rin silang paghiwahiwalian. Ang x cubed or x raised to 3 just means tatlong x. So, ibig sabihin nun, itong 4x cubed equivalent sa 2 times 2 times x times x times x. We're going to do the exact same thing dun sa ilalim. Now, yung 2 right here, wala naman na tayong pwede i-multiply dyan kundi 1. So, we can leave it as that. At yung x squared naman, this time, dalawa lang siya, hindi siya tatlo. This is x times x. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng exponent. Dahil nailatag na natin yan, pwede na tayo magsimulang mag-cancel. Now, dito sa taas, meron akong 2 na pwede kong ipares dito sa 2 sa ilalim. So, maiiwan na lang dyan ay 1. Maka-cancel na sila. Dito naman sa x na side, meron akong isang x, kapares nito. Isa pang x, nakapares nito. Ibig sabihin, ang naiwan sa taas ay 2 at isa pang x. Sa ilalim naman, wala nang natira. Ibig sabihin, 1 na lang yan. So, kung kailangan ko silang pagsamahin, this is 2x over 1 or 2x na lamang. At yun na yung final answer natin. Yan yung visual representation ng ginagawa natin. Another way of looking at it would be to just divide this part in this part. 4 over 2 is just 2. And yung x cubed naman, divided by x squared, ang rule natin dyan, and meron tayong video niya na yung rules on exponents. This could be written as x raised to 3 minus 2 or x raised to 1. At dahil yan ay sinusulat na lang natin as just x, this is just x. So 2 x. Pareho rin naman yung lalabas na sagot. So, kung alin ang method na mas komportable ka, yun ang gagamitin mo. Okay? Now, taasin natin ng konti yung level of difficulty. Okay? Paano kung ganito? You have 21x to the fourth y squared and 28x to the third y raised to four. 
Now, as you can see, dikit-dikit pa rin sila, which means multiplication pa rin ang ginawa natin dito sa mga to. So, kahit gano'n siya kahaba, we treat it as a monomial pa rin. As long as hindi addition or subtraction yung nasa pagitan ng mga yan, that is just multiplication. At kaya natin i-cancel yung mga pareho na factors sa taas at sa ibaba. So, we're going to do the exact same thing. Yung 21, kung i-factor natin yan completely, that is going to give us 7 and 3. That's just another way of looking at it. 28 naman, 7 and 4. At yung 4, pwede pa siya further sa 2 and 2. Now, the way I solve it is, I just leave it as that. Kasi nakikita ko na agad na ang kailangan ko i-cancel ay yung 7 sa taas at 7 sa ibaba. Yung 3 at 4 doesn't matter. Yan na yun. Kasi wala na silang shared na factor. Dito sa x to the 4th and x to the 3rd, dahil 4 minus 3 is 1, that is just going to give me isang x. And then, dito sa y squared at y to the 4th, mas marami na sa ilalim. Ibig sabihin, doon matitira yung y squared. Now, bakit naging y squared? Eh, isulat natin para mas maging obvious. Sa taas, meron akong dalawang y. Sa ilalim, meron akong isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat na y. Kung ikakancel ko yung pareho, may dalawang pwedeng makancel at matitira sa ilalim yung dalawang y. So, sa ilalim, itong y squared na ito. It's very important to point that out kasi kung i-arrange na natin yung sagot natin, yung 3 ay may lalagay sa itaas, yung 4 sa ilalim. Yung x na nag-iisa ay sa itaas may iiwan, so this will be 3x. At yung y squared naman ay sa ilalim natin ilalagay. So kung isusulat po ito, this is going to be 3x over 4y squared. Kung mamamali ka ng pwesto, yung x ay malalagay mo sa ilalim, o yung y squared ay malalagay mo sa itaas, mali ang sagot. So again, ang test dito is knowing the concept and attention to detail. Kailangan maging maingat ka. And speaking of tests, it's time for your quick quiz. So if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Yung first question natin, 16x cubed, 8x squared. So again, we're going to just split this. Dalawang 8 ang 16, so may iiwan yung 2 sa itaas. Yung x cubed, or tatlong x, dito dalawa lang, makakancel yung dalawa, may iiwan yung isang x sa itaas. Which means the answer here is 2x. The more you do it, the faster you'll get. And hopefully, maabot sa point na titignan nyo na lang, alam nyo na yung sagot. Number 2, 15a over 30a cubed. Yung 15, this is 15 times 1. 30 can be split into 15 times 2. Which means, pwede ko na i-cancel yung 15 dito sa taas at 15 sa ibaba. May iwan sa ilalim yung 2. Yung a naman, meron akong a sa itaas na isa lang, sa ilalim, tatlong A. At kung ikakancel ko ito, may may iwan na dalawang A sa ilalim. This is A squared, na ilalagay natin sa ilalim din. A squared. Now, anong nang mangyayari sa itaas? Dahil na-cancel both yung 15 at yung A, this will be 1. So, the answer is 1 over 2A squared. Okay? Did you get it right? Mas mahaba ng konte pero kaya nyo to. This is 20x cubed y to the 5th over 
12x to the 5th y cubed. Again, kung isi-split natin yung 20, pwede siyang 4 and 5. 12 naman will be 4 and 3. Which means, pwede natin i-cancel yung 4 sa taas at 4 sa ibaba. May iwan sa atin yung 5 sa taas at 3 sa ilalim. Next, you have x cubed and x over 5. Mas marami yung nasa ilalim. Ibig sabihin nun, yung tatlong x sa itaas, pwede ko i-cancel lahat. Yung limang x sa ilalim, may, madad, may matitira na dalawa. So, yung x squared na yan ay ilalagay natin sa ilalim. Next, yung y naman, pwede nating hatiin sa limang y. At ito ay tatlo. You cancel 3 there, 3 here, matitira ay y squared sa itaas. y squared. So, the answer is 5y squared all over 3x squared. Now, I hope you got all three correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. But it's important for you to figure out kung saan ka nagkamali. Na kulangan ba ng pagka-factor, may namalibang i-cancel, may namaliban ng pwesto. And those are things that you need to be careful of sa susunod na mag-e-exam kayo. Knowing where you get things wrong guards you from the tendency of making the same mistake again. Now again, this is just part one. So kung gusto nyo mapanood yung part two, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon. We have more videos coming up. And sa lahat ng mga child members and sponsors natin, maraming salamat sa inyo. Thank you for helping me help more people through this channel. This is also a lesson na ginagamit sa grade school. So kung meron kayong mga studyante sa bahay, baka makatulong din ito sa kanila. Yan muna for now. And as we always see sa channel to, never stop learning. Aja-aja. Kain nyo yan. I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now.